Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Here's the fresh snow that we received over the weekend on the Cascades with some clear skies. It was great to see a nice dusting along the Cascades, but as we mentioned last Friday, the temperatures are already starting to warm up, which means that snow may not last for very long. Expecting it to begin to melt even as soon as today, maybe tomorrow will be the big day because it's when we start to see our temperatures really rise. And by the end of the week, we're up there again. Here's the look off the Primeville Reservoir crystal clear clean blue skies fresh air across the region not expecting there to be any changes for us in the way of that air quality we are looking at nice clean air all the way across the region so take a look at that and take a look at this there's mostly clear skies for the entire state you can see just a little amount of motion and activity here but not much really happening for us in the way of clouds now when we look at the current winds we are much calmer than we were. You can see we're just in that six to eight mile per hour range here within Central Oregon and expecting that to stay calm for the next few days as our temperatures warm up. So we're in those low 70s for a few of us, high 60s, low 70s across the region. This is not the warmest we're going to be. We start to see our temperatures go even warmer tomorrow as this ridge of high pressure is moving in. This is when and why we're staying clear through tomorrow. We may see a few clouds you'll see here on our future track come through but not until we get closer into Wednesday. We see fairly clear. Here's a few clouds for us at 7 a.m. Some rain to the north, but nothing expected to be here within the region. And you can see those clouds come and go very light all the way through until we get to Friday. That's where we're expecting to stay mostly clear all week. The temperatures, I mentioned that we're seeing some shifts in those. So here's where we all are right now. This was a below average day, obviously warmer than yesterday, but not as warm as we're going to be. And you can see how quickly our temperatures drop all the way down into those early hours of the morning. And 37 is right about where we're expecting to bottom out in the Redmond area you'll notice temperatures around the rest of the region have quite a big spread. We're looking from the high 20s in Lapine to those mid 40s in Warm Springs. Then we could be those mid 30s in Sisters and in Sun River, maybe upper 30s for Prineville and Redmond. So we're seeing a pretty big change in those temperatures, not uncommon for us, especially this time of year as we're changing seasons. Here's where we're going to be with our temperatures, the range tomorrow, upper 70s to low 80s, but that is not the warmest day on our seven day. We cool for just a couple of days back into the 70s. This is below average, but then we do start to warm up by the time we get to Friday. We see our warmest day on Saturday in those mid 80s with just partly cloudy skies, and then we just cool ever so slightly as we start next week.